Entertaining racing coming up here in Innsbruck. Race four of the BMW IBSF Men's Skeleton World Cup at Innsbruck, Austria. This is the second in deciding heat getting underway with Samuel Kaiser of Switzerland. 18 athletes from 10 different nations and a tight battle at the top of the tree. Well, he's a soccer player, Martin, and, uh, you know, he's the first guy down. You know, he needs to get a better start, but uh, good for him. You know, another, another athlete that's, uh, you know, sort of emerging here in the World Cup Tour. Good sound. Yeah, Track's been spritzed. Of the ice. Yeah, track's really been spritzed. Oh, yeah. Ooh, stake there. Exit nine. Exit of Chrysler. Now, uh, Martin, perfect ice conditions, temperature, beautiful yeah. day in Innsbruck, even though you and I are, I'm 4,000 miles away. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It looks like a great day. Uh, beautiful pictures. It does indeed. 53-5-2. Came down 53-5-6 in the first heat. So just a Pretty little Pretty consistent. Quicker. The track is, yeah. Track is quicker than it was last week, but uh, yeah, um, he looks a little disappointed with that. A couple more errors creeping in. That's always the way when you're still learning these tracks. You exit, iron out one error. Exit of, exit of Kreisel. Can't make this mistake. You want a slingshot out of Kreisel, launch yourself to the bottom part of the track. You can't hit the wall, the exit wall. Into 80, corrected himself, but big mistake there in the exit of Kreisel. Samu Kaj of Switzerland is our race leader. That is Christian Auer, the race director, holding the sled for Nathan Crumpton. Nathan living here in Innsbruck during the winter. He did last year as well. He's rented an apartment not far from the city, up in the mountains. So pretty nice location. Obviously making friends and influencing people around the track as well. Go, 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 go. Christian Auer, we're going to see his son coming up. Christian was a former multiple world champion. I think in 1993 was his first. But uh, Nathan, you know, Martin, he was in the world championships here for the U.S. in 2016 and uh, had an injury, didn't make the Olympic team in 18. Uh, got some Asian descent, which is why he's sliding for, you know, the... American Samoa like this and triple jumper Princeton University guy real his favorite athletes Jesse Owens pretty understandable if you're a track and field guy 101.1 best speed so far and top speed down at the bottom as well we will see 120 plus from our fastest sliders Across the line, Nathan Crumpton with a 53.02. John, that's a big improvement. Wow, a much better. 53.45 of the first heat. Martin, I think he was top 10 in the world championships here in 16. So, I mean, you would expect the guy, but of course, injuries. He said some knee surgeries, a couple others. Good athlete. I mean, watch him get on the sled. Now, what hits first? Martin, that's textbook entry onto the sled you come down with both hips you don't see the sled rocking forward he drifted a little bit here you can see him struggling with the right foot out here exit of nine he's got a little skid you saw some spray off those runners but mark 43 hundreds better hey thanks yeah. for watching at home your memory is ridiculous, John Morgan. He was eighth in the Worlds in Innsbruck, 11th in a mixed team competition. But uh, how do you know that stuff? Daniel Schwerzer of Italy. Emmanuel with a one hundredth of a second advantage over Nathan Crumpton. So that means he's got to find nearly three quarters of a second as well to stay ahead of the game or half a second. Martin, this is a rookie on tour, so... Uh... But, you know, I like about him, he's got the 10th best start time. So that's that's encouraging, right? He did in the first heat, 5.02. That's a 5.13. What went wrong there? Yeah, something very inconsistent. I was looking more at his first heat time. Didn't watch the start. Yeah. I'm sure our guys in the truck will give it to us. 
let's see if we can uh, give her what happened there. If there was nothing obvious, it didn't look like a slip. Maybe he's just pulled something on his first start and he's just being a little cautious. Yeah, the sport, you can't be that inconsistent, Mark, from heat to heat at the start. You should be within a hundredth of your start, good or bad. Most athletes, the good athletes, I mean, whatever Dukar started in, he'll 486, he'll come out and do 45, 46 again. So, uh, we get our chance. Manuel can't maintain his place. Nathan Crumpton moves up one. Nathan could live there for a couple of sleds. He had a very, very he good second too. run. Yeah, and the, look at, the look, look at him. He's grabbing his leg. Hamstring, yeah, hamstring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is the problem at the start, Martin. Oh, uh, that's what we talked about with two cars in the first heat. Oh. Oh, yeah, you well, can you see. see he's, he's, look at it. Look at the expression on his yeah. face. Oh. It's that last step, isn't and, it? As he's crossing over to yeah. load, that's where it goes doink. Yeah, he he didn't launch himself out of the sled. He just fell onto yeah. the sled. So, oh, that's what we well, talked about the Dukars brothers. In good news, that's the last start he'll have to make for three weeks in competition. So there is healing time. Yeah, that those hamstrings, Martin, they don't go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that hamstring, that's a reoccurring injury that... Uh, Trust me, yeah, I can the, talk to you about and the problem, Yeah, the, the problem is you're just going to do more injury if you come back too soon. Next up, Mikhail Anaki of Romania. He was our first starter in the first heat. 11th quickest getaway at 5.03. 5.03 again. There, there's the consistency. He's been out on tour for, you know, a few years and, uh, you know, you know, doesn't have the resources that everybody else has to work with. But he's out here on tour. Yeah, this, this is only his second World Cup of this season. As you say, we have seen him over the last two or three years, but he's not done a full World Cup tour in that time. In fact, this is his sixth World Cup start. Last week, he was 18th. And he could well pick up a couple of places here. He's behind Nathan Crompton, but so. he should be ahead. Yeah. Should be ahead of Manuel so. Schwerzer and Samuel Kaiser. Yeah, you're right. Second best time. Nathan, yeah. uh, that tells you how bad of a first run you had because you're moving up good the leader's box. Yep. Well, as you always say, there are no strategy. lets. This is <laughs> yeah, well, better to be good on your second run. It feels better at the end of the day if you improve rather than if you slide down the order. There is an advantage of doing really good in the second run and moving up and living in that leader's box. Lines, yeah. toes out, no spray off the runners, head, medium height. Some people look at these, still not comfortable in that straightaway. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's see between us. Can we see that in Romanian? Not a chance. I was just going to say that, no chance. Yeah, no. Nah. Right, next up for Great Britain, Jerry Rice. 12th fastest starter, 5.04. And he's lacking a little bit at the start at the moment. He's a bit race rusty. As I said, second World Cup of the season for him. Did a, a pre-season training week and then uh, has spent a lot of time at home with his wife and his new baby. He had to leave the tour in a hurry after one of the races last season at the end in January because uh, his wife was due to give birth. So 4.99, that's a little better. Pretty tough to, to balance, and juggle families, and careers. You got to compete in these sports. Not a lot of great reward for these athletes. Their reward is what he's doing right now, coming down the track. This is a, you know, this is a, this is what everybody wants to do. Yep. 2600 lead. Surprised he was he this won. far back, Martin. Yeah. But again, he's race rusty, and uh, I think that will come. Not quite sure what the plan is post Christmas. Hopefully, he'll get more 53, ice time. 53.28, 53.13. So he went 1500s faster. Nathan Crumpton uh, knows that he's moved up a couple sleds, and uh, Jerry Rice will go into the leader's box. And uh, how much is there between them? Six hundreds of a second. Jerry, 2,500s up at the first split. 
came down to 600s at the bottom. So that shows what a good slide Nathan Crumpton had. Well, the line into eight, pretty good. Sets them up for the exit of nine. Boy, speed's pretty well off on the speed, Martin. So you say mm -hmm. he's race rusty, obvious, because he's, you know, he's usually a better starter than that, and he's a race, race rusty. All right, he'll be heading home for Christmas into uh, near lockdown in the UK. Next up, Mattia Gaspari from Cortina in Italy, 27-year-old. I wonder how long before we're going to see him and his sister named to an Italian team. Martin, now my memory tells me that before his injury, I don't know what World Championships was that, but he had a top 10 World Championship result too before his yeah. injury. And what a thrill it is for, for him. To, what a thrill it's going to be for him with the Olympics coming to Cortina. We talked about it in the first heat. Good slider. Ooh, boy, squared up coming around there. We'll see if it costs his speed. He's got the best speed, so that must be the good line. Wow! 700s to 25. That line he had at a nine was different than anybody else. That was it. Wow. What a run. 5281. Check that out, Martin. That is 41 hundredths better than his first That is the ninth. Nine no slide of the competition so far. That really got him hooked. <laughs> Martin, remember in the first heat he said to us, second okay. run, second run. Yeah. Matthias, you just did the second run. You should have done yeah. this in the first run. What would that have given him, that 52-80 time? That would have put him up in the top. It would have took in the ninth position. This would have put him. Look at that line, how low he yep. comes out. Remember that line. He came around that curve low. Little skid there, but... He was 900s at the exit of Kreisel, and he was 40 hundreds down here at the bottom. This. Turn the camera, come on. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Only from Italia. Yeah, Mattia Gaspari, the leader from Jerry Rice and Nathan Crumpton. 12 slides to go, 12 slides to go in Innsbruck, Austria, and we get to Ukraine's Vladislav Gerskevich. 15th fastest starter came down in 12th position. Where did he finish last week? Finished in 14th, so this is already a PB here in Innsbruck if he can hold on ahead of Mattia Gaspari, but that is a big if. Mattia had a great second run and an equal start. Well, this is a good slider. He's a glider, you know, and you get those tougher tracks. He does well on with the, you know, he gives up time at the start, but he's, he knows how to gather speed on the way down. And look at his form, Martin. He's always had great form. 900, best speed. Exit here. Perfect. This could grow. 1100s. Excellent. Best speed here, too. So this is what he does. He doesn't have a great start, but he's always impressed us with his ability to get into this bullet form, get to the bottom, and he's got the lead, 52-65. That's 2,500s better. That no, way better. The fifth best, yeah, that equals the fifth best slide in the first heat. He's on a Ducour sled, works with the Ducour's brothers on the setup, and obviously, the way you slide those is by doing as little steering, visible steering as possible. That was a big run from Vladislav Heraskevich. It could well move him up. 4,900s better in this run than the first run. Is the track getting faster, Martin? Everybody's come down the track faster. This guy a half second faster. Yeah, we've seen some big improvements now. Maybe it's ironing out some errors. Maybe their choice of runner is now starting to just work a little better as the day warms up a fraction. Wait and see. Vladislav Heraskevich with a big run. So who does he get to pick off? Well, he was only 700s behind Yevgeny Rukoshev and only, therefore, a tenth out of the top ten. So Rukoshev 11th after the first heat. And you're right about uh, 
Mattia Gaspari, by the way, ninth place in Koenigsegg in the Worlds 2017. Thank you for that. Uh, your, your research person's <laughs> doing some good work. Yeah, I just have a computer. You have a brain for a computer. Oh, look at that square up there. He took the corner twice. You can't do that up top. He's 700s back. We'll, we'll see what the speeds show here in the Chrysler. Big whip around. Good point. See this Chrysler here? The, there will be a Chrysler in the Beijing track. It'll be the first Chrysler in an Olympic competition since the Calgary Olympics in 1988. Wow. So get everybody used to Chryslers. 400s back, 800s, 400s, best speed, right to the 100. This is going to be close. Oh, six. Vlad picks up one. So Vlad moves up. Data come. If they show us up top, Martin Murray took that corner twice, that was at least 600s up there. I think it was curve three or four. Boy, he's got the same shape as Trechikov. Doesn't get the same start yeah. as Trechikov. Watch the chest coming down. No, the knee came down first. Look at the way the sled bounces around in the groove. He got on real early there too, Martin. Yeah, that's as much start as he's got, I think. Yeah, this is out of nine. Ties the best speed with our Ukrainian friend. Good lines, no spray off the runners. Right down the left center of the track. Well, that leaves him in second place with 10 to go. Rucker Schwartz, World Cup best, ninth place finishes in Lake Placid and La Plan. 10th place after the first of our two heats, Ronald Otterset of Switzerland, 31 year old engineer. Last week, a World Cup career high for him in 13th place. John, he's placed three spots better than that after the first heat, so he really wants to hang on. Yeah, he's from Freiburg, and uh, he's a junior project manager for an X-ray company. So I don't know, he's balancing career. Good speed, Martin. Best speed, three tenths. Boy, if he grows this out to 30, 40 hundreds better. I think the track's speeding up. 3100s. Flying, isn't he, on his Bromley slam? Hits out of the Chrysler. That's going to cost him. Looking for his first ever career top 10 finish. He's a few hundred meters away. Down the Fourth lower best speed. Decent, Look, decent speed. Little, should be the leader. Top 10 by 200. That's his career best. His first ever top 10 finish guaranteed. There's been some big days on this track here. in the last two weeks. Martin, we've we've seen him struggle to make the no. cut. So that tells you, personal best for him. He's walking out of this track with a gold medal on his own accord. Personal yep. best, that's what you want to do when you come out here. You might not be able to win a medal. And Martin, look at the mistake there, too, in the exit of Chrysler, the place where you want the slingshot effect. Look at his feet apart here. That's the exit of Chrysler into eight. He lost some time there, me. Martin. He had a 30 hundred lead, and it was all evaporated to 200s at the bottom. That'll do it. Top 10. That sounds so much better than 13th, doesn't it? So next up, Florian Auer, and again, another personal best, a World Cup equaling best ninth place last week. This is his 31st World Cup start. I think his debut was in Sochi, seem to remember. So, ninth place last week, he's ninth now. And he needs 800s, 1200s of a second to move up a spot and get a career high eighth. Start 504, which is much better than the first heat when he posted a 509. He's already in red numbers. But Martin, he had great That's... speed in the bottom part of the track. Yeah. He's gonna need it. Well, Ronald Ardeset started the 10th better, so that's why Florian drops into the red, but here at the Chrysler, he's already up on speed. 900s back, best speed, only 400s. Best speed on this clock here, he'll be the leader. It'll be green numbers, best speed, that's, there's the green number. 
So here's some home track advantage here. 1400s. He's flying. He's talking. He's to beat Thomas Ducos. 52 wow. 53. Equals the Five third minutes. best speed of the competition. 52.83 or 52.89 in the first heat, so he's like 30 hundredths better, Martin. Yeah. Hey. Big improvement Martin, what's the track in the second heat. What's the <laughs> Don't track even record? go there. It's a 51.88. So it's well, six tenths I mean, better or 55 hundredths better than the first heat. You can see the exit of the groove. Now I'm noticing a lot of sleds getting thrown to the left side of our screen. We'll keep our eyes on that. Great pictures. His feet are out trying to get himself away from the wall. So Florinauer leads with eight sleds to go. It is a career equaling ninth place at the moment. Let's see if he can go any better. Eight sleds to go, first of whom Thomas Ducors has a bunch of medals on this track. The most recent, though, was six seasons ago now. Let's see if he can find a little more in the second heat. Martin Haven and John Morgan watching the action from Innsbruck, Austria. Well, the oldest athlete in the competition, tallest athlete in the competition, and one of the most decorated athletes in the competition. He's been sliding for 18 years. First time we saw him, I told the story in the first heat. He came from 13th place in Segulda, Latvia, in the first heat, and ended up winning the race up there in, I think it was 2003. It was our first time I was ever in Segulda. 20 hundreds ahead, Martin, this, he should be more than that against Florian R. Yeah. 600, Whoa. wow. Wow. Came from 2500s up to 600s up. So they've Pretty learned much something what he did about last whatever week. setup. Pretty much yeah. what he did last week. He was 10th in the race. He's gonna finish eighth, ninth or 10th here. So eighth or ninth here. So, but again, how many more years can he keep going? And he's already won right, a medal so far. Couple. Look at that. Look at the way yeah. he jumps on that sled. That's textbook. Chest comes down. You see a lot of people with their knee comes down. That's the way to do it. Watch the skid here. Looks his feet. Is this how to do it or what? I mean, can yeah. that's textbook like to start. Looks like he's just thinking the sled over onto the line and that's how subtle the steering is. I think subtle about Felix Keisinger, the cage tiger at the start. And again, it was another disappointing first heat for the young Bavarian. We're oh, talking to him about, this... about it at Koenigsee last year and his, uh, he was saying his grandmother or his grandfather saying, look, you just got to have two second heats in a day. And that is the secret. He's just too tight in the first run and it often goes wrong for him. First race of the year, he finished second in Segulda. Look at the start, 480, wow. That's uh, that's impressive, 485 in the first run. Martin had the second best start, the eighth best downtime. So, I, there's no way he's throwing away 4,400. And if he keeps it up at this pace, he could move up three or four spots. Best speed, speed so ridiculous. Far. Yeah, good Thank exit. Thomas Ducos. Wow, look at the advantage over Ducours. He had 700s over Thomas from the first heat, John. Yeah, but he's going to drop back a little bit, 41. This will be in the 30s, oh. fifth best speed. He's lo losing speed all the way down. Lays the lead. Below Labyrinth. Still, he's gone 52, from 700s up to 41. Fastest run on the track today. 52.25. That yeah, would have been the fastest time of the first heat. Yeah, by 1800s. Yeah, he just went 4500s faster. Yeah. So there you go. That he needs two of those a day, not just the one. Little good exit there. Comes, you know, into eight. Perfect. Martin, but he started losing the speed about here. The labyrinth. Yeah. He's a little late there. This is 11. The first of the three corner combination. That's the second one. I'm sorry. And then, uh, but hey, 
Yeah. Felix, yeah. You got to do it round. twice. You got to do it twice, <laughs> yeah. Felix. We know. <laughs> Good run right, for him. Next up, Ale next up, Alexander Gassner finished third in an all-German podium in the World Championships in Altenburg. We haven't seen the silver medalist Axel Junk on World Cup this year, although he earned a spot. He is injured. So I'm not quite sure how that will work out with reselection at Christmas New Year in the break. But Gassner is still fit and healthy. 4.99 in the first run. Should go faster. Everybody is. 4.95. The track's faster. At the start, finish. People are going half second better. 50.6 second best speed. He's got the fourth or fifth best start. That's pretty good. 1900s back. He's going to have to have the best speed all the way down to have a chance to overcome his teammate at the bottom. We finished fifth here got... last week, John, which which was his career best in Innsbruck, and I don't think he's on for that. No, nope, he's lost time back. Does not have the speed. Now the question is, is he going to fall more than one spot? Six best speed. Not good. Ooh, late there on ten. Yeah, he just doesn't said, seem like he's got a control there. From 2700s back, I wondered wow. whether Keisinger had a shot at a medal. He, do you know what? He just might. 52-6-0 for Alexander Gassner. 600s only better than his first run. Yeah. We just saw Keisinger come was... down four tenths better. Yeah. Didn't look comfortable on a sled. No. Nah. He doesn't look comfortable with that look either. But uh, here's the exit of nine. He's look, look at his foot up in the air. Look at his, look, he's not square on the sled. Look at his, something wrong Has he got his arm trapped inside the saddle when he loaded? You might, you might be right. Doesn't, I don't know, no. Look how high he got there at 10. Now watch him here too. He's late here off at 10. He got really high on 10. But the guys in the truck oh. picked it right up, said he, he yeah. doesn't look comfortable on the sled. No. Something about his right arm positioning was all wrong. Felix Keisinger leads, Alexander Gassner second. Next up, the world champion, Christopher Grothair. Christopher finishing in, uh, where did he finish last week? Can't find it now. Uh, sixth position. So he's one better than last week, but he's going to have to go some to hold off Felix Keisinger. 497 should be better, 493. Everybody's four or five hundreds better at that start track up there. I'd like to know what the temperature is now compared to the well, first run. He's squared yeah, up that curve too, that wasn't good. 1500 back, well, 1500s back's all the way to the start. Yeah, 1300 slower than Keisinger, and he only had 700, 500s over Keisinger from the first heat. I think he's going down hard here. Here I he comes. Felix will be our he, leader. No, no, he's got a chance. Watch the speed. He gets number one speed, he's got a chance. Best wow. speed, 102. Only two other sleds have done that. He should get the green numbers. He should catch him here. Could be right to the 100. Could catch him. Could be a tie at the line. Dead it's not 52 23. Wow. He got rewarded. Good lines. He got beat up at the start, but you can see why he's the world champion. He knows how to slide. Yeah. Great speed in the bottom. Yeah, quick little exchange of time and speed. Let's see his entry under the sled. Both hands come off. You know, I give him a B plus there. You know, his hips came first. But uh, I give him A. Look at the uh, speed he's got here. Second best speed. Ooh, little tap there in the exit, but Martin, he did everything right on the bottom part of the track. That's why he's the lead. Yeah. So Christopher Grothair, the race leader, with four to go. So what about the medals? Top four covered by 1,400s. Sammy Meyer was 800s ahead of Christopher Grothair after the first heat. Can he get himself his first ever World Cup medal on home ice? What a story that would be for the Meyer family. He's got a 15th best start. He's got the worst start in the top 10. The point is he fly down the track. 505, 300 better than his first start. Now he's gonna be 20 hundreds behind here. He had an 800s lead. 
20, 25 hundredths behind it this next clock. And he needs to be perfect. Well, only 11. Wow, look. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's, that's the speed that's a really in good sign. three. Yeah. If you don't cut you three, found that you really carry the speed. Oh, here we go. Not he, a very good speed there, Martin. No fourth. That's not no. good at all. He needs to be he, full, he needs to be top speed. So I don't think he's going to maintain. But Let's there's the best speed. The bottom. <laughs> I think he's lost 13. He's going to run out of track. He's going to finish single digits. How Three, much ice is left for Sammy Mark? Not enough. 16. Yeah, so another good effort. Uncle Sammy Meyer gets closer to a podium. Disappointment. Family, friends, doesn't live too far away from the track. All right, guaranteed a top six finish. Is, that's his best, and Last right? week he finished seventh, yeah, so it'll be a career best result. Personal best. His sister-in-law will be sliding this afternoon. His brother will be sliding tomorrow. It's yep. all in the family here. Head up there. Didn't have that good speed. I thought he'd have it into Kreisel, Martin. Hi, thank you for the for in the home. You have my best this game. Oh, and Yeah. Yeah. Well, best ever World Cup result for him. Last week, Matt Weston had his best ever World Cup result with a fourth place. He lies 1,200 off the lead of the race. Attention, be a lead of the race. Should be a spart about 43 and 44, which is everybody else is going. There's 44. Everybody's been three, four hundreds faster. Now let's see if he squares up this curve coming up right here. No, that was good. Square up, we've seen that adjustment on the take on. 28 hundreds in the bank, but he's, this is for a medal. This is a podium for a rookie, Mark. Yeah, Last to week the he threw champion. the podium away. Yeah, last week he had a chance for a podium and missed it. Good exit out of the prizes, but only the fourth best speed. He's hanging yeah. on to a two tenths advantage. Nice run for Fifth best to speed. He's going to get down into the like teens here. 19. It should like be enough, Mark. Oh, it's it's going to be close. This is for a medal. It's either going to be a rookie or a world champion. No. It's a medal for Matt oh. Weston. Yeah, Marek, good reason to celebrate. Well, Matt Great Weston Britain, I think, of fifth I think ever World Great Cup Britain. race. Yes. The Great Britain has found another star in the making oh. here. Yeah. Rookie. Top great starter. Someone could Rookie. warn me. That track's frozen over. <laughs> plus he's, and plus the he's a typical British. Little Monty Python in him, too. Look at the uh, lines here. My, you know, again, he's a rookie. Great start. Top three, top four start. Obviously, the good equipment. British have great tradition and skeleton. Boy, for a guy to come out, a rookie on the tour, Thank capture the medal. Thank you for your support back at home. Miss you all loads. Woo! Good reason to celebrate. Another yeah, rookie coming absolutely. up here, Martin. Yeah, and what an opportunity for this young man, Danu Romanov, fastest starter in the competition, two hundreds of gold in the first heat. Only the greatest slider ever in skeleton stands between him and a remarkable win. What can he find in his fourth ever World Cup race? He's at Moscow, 4.79. He only went. 100 better than the first team. Everybody else scored three, four hundreds. Watch the curve here. Nice, smooth entry, exit. 1800s lead. Do you know, and that's the Martin, last... of his first run. It, it wasn't just the start, John. He looked so good on the sled. Yeah, he was impressive. Um, of course, Tretchikov, Russian Rockets not here. Trevikov not here either. Um, but this guy, like the British athlete, just came down. He's impressive for rookie, but he's late. He's off the sled. Ninth best speed. He's holding on. He doesn't oh. do it. Yes. Matt Weston guaranteed at least a silver medal for his first trip to the podium. And do you know what caused that error? I was just looking in our results to see how many races it took before Alexander Tretyakov got a World Cup medal. 
And that was wow. all it took to curse Daniel Romanov. But, but uh, do you know what? He ten. may not win Here it is. today. He's too high he's there. He's going to win. He's going to win. Ten. High on 10. Now he's scrambling, and he tits before 11. Now he comes late here, so he's high on 10, and he doesn't catch up. Three quarters later, he's still scrambling to stay on the sled. So I think we could say a rookie mistake, Martin. A lot of pressure. Chance to get his first medal ever. Well, it was a 15th start before Alexander Chetikov got onto the podium in Calgary for the first time, and that was back in 2006. So I think Romanov is a lot closer than that, maybe. So to win hey. either a man in his fifth on, World Cup on, or a man on, in on, his 130th on. World Cup, who's got 12 straight wins on this track. Who's your money on, John Morgan? Uh, I'll put my money here. I don't think you're going to see a mistake <laughs> down the Labyrinths like we just saw. I mean, we call him Superman. How many races has he won on this track in a row, Martin? 12 straight. 11? 12, 12 straight, straight races straight he's won yeah. in a row. I mean, just just think of all the, the great athletes in sport who dominate their sports. This guy here, what he's accomplished in this sport, and he still comes out every year, has a top two or three start. But Mark, he's only got 1,500s right now, and he's got the fourth best speed. This isn't looking good. No, it is now. Well, he was he's up to 1,700. Tenth ahead. Tenth up in the first heat over Matt Weston, and he claims victory by oh, yeah. double that, 52 12. So, yeah, two he, tenths. Mark, he made me nervous. He made me nervous well, because he wasn't the best speed. I was going to say but since just... 2008, uh, 2009, when he first won here, only five other Ooh. names have appeared on the podium. One is his brother, one is Alexander Tretikov, 06. Nikita Tregobov, once for Axel Jung, and once for Sergei Ch Chudinov. And Sun Bin Yun is the other. So, Matt Weston becomes only the seventh different name on this podium in the last 12 years. 12 years. Okay, well, Superman, top two or three start, wearing the gold jersey. Oh, by the way, he just won his fourth race of the year in four yep. attempts. How many times has he won? 170, how, how many starts and how many wins, Mark? 130 He's, World Cup starts. That is now his 58th win. He is good unbelievable. money. Matt Weston takes silver. Christopher Grothair, a new name on the podium here in Innsbruck. He takes the bronze ahead of Felix Keisinger. Keisinger coming up from seventh in the first heat to head off Daniel Romanov. Romanov didn't win today, didn't win a medal today. He is, and he probably will before the season is out. So there are your finishes. A bunch of PBs in the field again, and yeah, a first great World race. Cup medal. And yeah, win number 58. Remember when we were waiting for a, almost two seasons for him to get win number 50? We're going to rush to 60, like in real life, in almost no time at all. A perfect season so far for Martin Stukors. Four wins from four starts. Alexander Gassner second in the standings. Matt Weston moves up from seventh this morning to third, equal with Felix Keisinger at the Christmas break. I think Matt Weston might have a bit of a hero's welcome when he gets back to the Western homestead uh, in the UK at the uh, Christmas break. So that's it for the Men's Skeleton World Cup for 2020 part of the season. Don't forget that the women's race comes up this afternoon, 13.30 local, 12.30 GMT. That's the very slightly more human time of 07.30 Eastern from John Morgan, from me, Martin Haven, and the IBSF TV crew. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you for the women's race. Until then, take care, stay safe. Woo!